not for people to stay here forever. The program is to move you to the next level until such a time that we know that you can be totally by yourself. We've had instances that uh, a client who have been in and out of the hospital in several occasions. The reason was that uh, they did not really have that transitional services that right now this program implements. It targets this crowd of people because in the past they didn't have any place to go. They were either over the limit or under the limit, so now they're just right on point, you know, with the arrest and with the uh, long-term care facilities, with the in and out of emergency room departments. Uh, they fit, and it's, it's just for them. The good thing about the program is that it is about what you want to do. And we are there to support you at the pace you want to go. If you want to be fast, we're there with you. If you want to do it slowly, one at a time, we're there with you. You have a lot of support from all, from the provider agency, from the recovery management agency. You have a lot and a lot of support to get you to where you should be. I knew I was safe here now after doing my time. You have freedom over here. It's not like you're in prison or in a mental hospital. I've been in a mental hospital and prison both, and I need some help. I said, let's do it. That's the only choice I had anyways to do is be over here. If not, I'd be dead. I'd be out in the woods, dead, in a tent, under a viaduct, or anything bad. Or something would have happened to me. I would describe HCBS AMH as an extension of traditional services. Um, with the local mental health authority. However, it gives you more options to help these individuals who have been in um, confinement and go to the ER a lot. It is a wonderful program. What I've discovered is that this population have been long overlooked and there hasn't been a place for them. So with the HCBS AMH program, it gives them their own space where we're able to do our person-centered recovery to get them to where they want to be, address their goals, and just work, you know, what that client really needs. I decided to become both recovery manager entity and provider entity because I believe in recovery. When I really got into the program, writing policies, seeing what the program is all about, basically standing in the person-centered recovery planning, it works. And the clients are really receptive to it. We were already providing services that were close to that. We had pulled several individuals out of the state hospital and successfully re rehabilitated them to where they could integrate back into the community. So this was just another way to expand our services. When I further read you know, the application, uh, a recovery manager basically you know, does the monitoring, coordinating, uh, linking of services, and also to, you know, to, be, to become an advocate. So uh, advocacy is something that you know, I'm quite familiar with. I felt you know, this recovery management entity process was something that you know, I wanted to do. I have found watching the individuals reintegrate into the community successfully the most rewarding. Not going to jail all the time, um, not going back to the ER for little things that they could see their doctor for. What I found most rewarding through this process is seeing the clients reach their goals. Most importantly, what is rewarding to me is the fact that you know the, the client has a say in his or her program. So this is not bygone at those days that, you know, the professional tells the client, this is what, you know, we want you to do. But the client also have a say. This is a chance for our brothers and sisters who, are, you know, who have severe mental illness uh, it is what we call a best practice, you know, 
this um, program and for them to be able to utilize it, go through that transition, you know, and you know, for, for them to get well, which I think is a win-win situation, you know, both to you know to the community and to every institution involved. This place has been good to me for a year. I hope to stay here until I spread my wings somewhere else.